Hi guys, this is Viper, and today we'll be showing off a bit of folk tale. I say a bit, because I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to do. Because there's one thing about this game I do not like at the minute. It's in the alpha stage though, so I can understand, but it is rather annoying what they've done. So, since we can't do O-Elt, Sunbox, or Mako can't even speak, we'll go through a tutorial, and I will show what I've got a complaint about in a bit but let's what's the intro let's say it's a rather interesting game it looks kind of cool I have played it for about an hour and I did record for about an hour Four months where people have struggled through swamps and forests across deserts and frozen wastes battling storms and high seas that threatened to dash them against the rocks they came to escape from the tyranny of the evil Lord Black Dark whose rogue financiers had crushed the population to little more than indentured slaves. Fleeing a land where toast is rationed to only the select few and uh, the good people eat only stale bread, your brave subjects have fought and suffered before arriving on the shores of this remote island. It is here they hope to find peace and tranquility, where they can farm and build a new... Oh look, there's Bernard. Hello. Where was I? Oh yes, to a land where your people can build a new society where freedom and toast are available to everyone. And it is up to you, our steely-eyed leader, to build a brighter future for your brave pioneers. Because let's face it, the villagers aren't the sharpest swords in the rack. This is the world of folktale. Right then. Welcome to our new village. Let's practice moving around. Moving the mouse to the edge of the screen will move you in that direction. Alternatively, you can use the W, A, S and D keys or the arrow keys. We shall set to work building a windmill and planting wheat fields that can be harvested and milled into flour. Click on the notice board near the empty plot of land and select the windmill from the Superb! Our villagers will set to work hammering and sawing. In the meantime, why not place one or more wheat fields next to the windmill? The closer resources are to buildings, the less time villagers will spend transporting goods and the more productive they can be. Right, where well, they're going now, I can actually talk. Now one thing about this game, I'll just show you quickly. New building options are available. Which I'm not even keen, is there's no save and load function. The tutorial is quite long. So I was playing for an hour and it still wasn't finished, so as you can imagine when I stopped to have a break and whatnot, I was rather annoyed, so so down for about building the game. options are available. Our windmill is ready. Train a farmer by selecting a free villager and right clicking on the windmill. Hmm. What now? Huh? Oh, there you go. My, oh, my way. Press the right button. Great! You've just trained your first specialist. The farmer will. Shut up. Right then, we need a wood color. Wood color, wood color, wood color. Guess let's go in here. Yeah, it's a quite a fun game to actually play though, I really enjoy it. I said it's funny and hilarious. They've got everything going pretty well here. So you have to build where they can tell you can build unfortunately, but that's it, it's still fun the story the so far is great. What I played of it is hilarious. Right, so you never know what's gonna happen, what they can say it say is what they're gonna say is. And when I first played it it was still really early in the alpha. So there was a few little bugs and a few little problems. I said hopefully they've sorted it out since I last played. Hopefully. <laughs> New building options are available. Yeah. Good. Now select one of our folks and send them to the woodcutter's lodge for training. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. I can do that. So I just have to click it. There he goes. 
Taking down the flag, let's see you got to capture resources. Well so it's been a while since I played that so I did get rather annoyed with it, so that's why there hasn't been a video of it. So I think I played it when it was 1.1.0 1 .1 and it's 1.5 now. We'll chop down trees and saw logs into planks that can be used to construct other buildings. Yep. We'll also need more iron bars and stone. Build an iron smelt near the iron mine and train a miner. Should we be building it when they get here? And there's the mine anyway, that's pretty close, which is cool. So I did have some problems with the earlier build, it wanted me to do stuff and I couldn't do it. It wanted me to destroy or rebuild something. I couldn't re rebuild something, like I said there has been a few little bugs and problems in the game, but like I said it's still good to play. So wait for the cutscenes, like I said they're hilarious, I love them. So I love the characters on it, how they look. So it's got a load of potential, I must admit. Especially so early on. So you do everything for toast, and toast rules. <laughs> Don't know if they had to do anything else apart from toast, but they love their toast. So. Toast and milk by lots of things. New building options are available. Train one. So How can I help? Female. And she can't do it. So male. Hmm. Really? I don't know why Excellent. Do it, Before our miner can get to work, we need to clear out the rat infestation near the mine and hoist our faction flag to state our claim. Select one or more villagers and right click on one of the rats near what the iron now? mine. Something to do? Yep. Prepare to die! Help. Kill them, take them out. NXT! <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh, well done. Now move some of our villagers close to the faction flag until it changes to our blue colours. Oh, uh, when the flag is at the top of the pole, we gain control of the resource and our miner can start extracting ore. Oh, pick up what these guys drop. There you go. So you, get some, oh, so you, got, you can equip. Just take it all. All right, my love. Right away. I've got to double click it. There you go. Got some bits and pieces. And there we go. We have the mine. Now build a stone cutter's lodge near the stone quarry and train one of our villagers to be a stone cutter. So, so basic tutorial. So I think I've done it with. Uh, Basically, females can only do certain jobs, males can only do certain jobs. I don't know if they'll keep that in the game or not, to be honest. Oh, it could be just me not doing it right, but that's what it's seemed so far. Or they've just not added the model in for the character, because they look different when... New building options are available. Yeah, I can't, I can't select it to do yep. it's male. My okay. pleasure. So you'll come out and it'll look different. There you go, see, completely different. Something to be done. And this, and you're here. Absolutely. My advisor. Hello, Mr. Advisor. Hello. So the characters look good on it, look. Ooh, got a bit of a belly, mate. Bit thin on top, a bit like me. <laughs> Chip off the odd block, I am. There we go. Capture that. So I don't know how long it would take me to do the tutorial. Cause like I said, I've never actually finished it. And I got to the point where I needed a break, and it wanted to carry on. It was like, oh. Right then. Oh, is that it, bruv? What did the big man say? Big man? 
He says he's been talking to them weirfu monks who is like all the way up on the mountain, in it. In it though, they is proper in the clouds. And they see all these like filthy human beings getting comfy on our turf. All building villages and thing, you get me bruv? I hear you man. So the big man reckons they is all our property and he'll get some wicked coin for them, innit? What's the plan? We go down there and they're all like, Oh no, please don't make us into slaves. And we like, take them back up to the big man. They got any protection, bruv? Nah, man, that's the best thing. They got nothing. Let's do this. I hear you, man. Let's do it. <laughs> Love it. Listen up. You is all the property of the slave master, Urzal. We are taking some of you to be his slaves. The rest of you better shut it or we will take all of you. This is our village now. You get me, yeah? Yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> oh, there she is. Well, I guess we ain't alone on this island no more. So what are we going to do, lads? Well, we can't just leave them to the goblins, can we, dear boy? We should go and rescue them. Do but we're no soldiers and we ain't got no swords or nothing. If we don't go and get them back, them goblins will be thinking we's all just here like turkeys waiting for Thanksgiving. We need volunteers. Good, brave lads who can go on a rescue mission. What about you, Bernard? After all, they did take your wife. Uh, well, um, uh... Well, I'm sure she'll be fine. <laughs> well, I can't go. I've got, um... Important buildings to make. Shoot, I can't go. Uh, I've got important, um, logs to chop. And I've got, um, important, uh, holes to dig. Hey, didn't they also take Jethro the farmer? What? They took Jethro. You know, the farmer. But that means... What? That means that we can't grow wheat. So? If we can't grow wheat, then we can't make bread. So? If we can't make bread, then... What is it, man? That means we can't have toast. That's it, boys. We're going to get Jeffro. Aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, yeah. Let's get the wife, too. Let's get tooled up. For bread! One yes. of your buildings caught fire. Yes, several of those things. We need some improvised weapons to defend the village with. Build a barracks and send one of the villagers there to get him equipped as militia. Okay. Nice, oh, yeah, she put the fires out there. Don't know how to pull them out, so. Yeah, hopefully they do it automatically. Yeah, that's like it. That's quick. New villagers have arrived. New villagers. Ooh, by boat. New villagers. Hmm. Alright, let's go back to Barrett's so. Nyonk. Yes, my dear? Yes, my dear. Well, new building options are available. Can't make her into an actual soldier, so I'll have to be male. What now? On my way. How can I help you? Before sending out a party of adventurers to rescue the villagers, we should give our militia some combat training. There are some mischievous looking critters close to the village. Clear them out and let's see if there's anything interesting to be found. Mine is to obey. Go for it. So it's the shackle. Yeah, fine. Guilty. Judge. And intuition. Pretty cool. Oh, here he comes. Damn, he moves quick. Onward to victory! <laughs> Straight and past me. What are you doing? I shall drink to your death! The toast! May you die! Manly! You looking at me? Level two. Yes? Now you've got the basics of combat. We should explore beyond the village borders and see if we can pick up the trail left by the goblins. Short blade. Time. Ooh. Ooh, a rare sword. Can I put it? Let's have a look. 
Okay, see each character's got their own equipment and plus he leveled up. So we can increase his We're going to need more manpower to keep growing at this rate. Constructing two more cottages will encourage new settlers to arrive on the boat. Sure I can't. You called? Uh, where's your stuff gone? Hmm. Where do I open his stuff? Ah, uh, I. Hey, can you? Ready for duty, sir. Oh yeah, you can. And what's this? A ring. Uh, doing a sword. Let's see. Hear this? You think with all this walking, I'd be in better shape? I best let off the donuts. Like this. You can have that though. And I think that's all I can have. So, go. Here we go. Uh, Quick march. Hi. Okay. Yink. It says here. So we'll build a cottage. And we've got to go here. Let's have a look. She leveled up as well. Boy, you best not be messy. Y'all want something? He's level two, so they've leveled up basically. But I'm just curious. Let's see what this one does. It's map. So this one. It's the main center. Is there any way to find idle basic people? I don't know where my guardsman's gone. More orders? New uh, villagers have arrived. Found it, that was lucky. I did it again. Keep pressing the wrong button. So, uh, he was. What's up, Slick? Yeah. What's to be done? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Props be so. I don't. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Your wish? I'm going to make sure I press the right button this time. Tis an honor! There we go. It doesn't seem to be on fire no more. Nice pink ship. How are we doing? Oh, we built it. A human village. So I'm assuming we get different types of villages as well. See if I can upgrade it, but I can't. Tower, so let's go back. Some money. Oh crap! Ready for duty, sir. I can't press on it. Um. As you wish. Let's take some. Forward. Zoom out a bit. Take these guys out, yeah. Attack! That's it. Think twice before breaking the law. Uh, loot all. Loot all. Let's take some care of the rest of them anyway. Anything around here. Uh, oh, it's a treasure chest, so we're best. Time to die! I can get that. Well, and we'll carry on with the main quest. Yourselves, men. Yeah, it should be all right. They've just got uh, decent equipment. Onward to victory up again. and me. You, you look like a troublemaking sort. Oh, we can. The stocks will sort you out. How rude! Uh, loads of keys, loads of stone, loads of gold. Ooh. A knight or. Come on. 
No, oh, he's probably can you equip it to be honest. Away I go! See the tool, let's have a look. INC. Oh, yes, he can. Look at that. Got no armor for him. He's already got a ring. Dude's got a helmet. I see he's pretty powerful now. So let's head back over here. I can't press on the map to make him go over there. So. Move out! Move him out. Stone. Good job he moves pretty quick, that's all I've got to say. Hmm. Probably doing creating some more soldiers, but I think for now we're fine. I said think. <laughs> Still oh. don't know what it does. My beautiful hobbles! They stole you away from me! You're right, mate. No, I am not all right. Those filthy goblins have stolen my hobbles away from me. Oh, I can't stand the thought of their filthy, rough hands all over him. I feel faint. No! Oh. Who are you? And what are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere anyway? I am Camfrey Mageflower, and Lord Blackdark banished hobbles and I for living in a... Alternative lifestyle. What, for being, um... No, silly! Hobbles is my familiar! Oh, right, that's, uh, that's like a pet, is it? More than a pet. We have a magical bond! Our minds and souls are intertwined in a beautiful, penetrating partnership. Lord Blackdark banned all wizards from having familiars. He thought it was creepy. Sounds a bit overly familiar to me. Well, yes. We were banished to this hellhole, and now my beautiful hobbles has been taken from me! I must get him back, no matter what the cost. I can't do this on my own. I need some big strong lads to help me. Oh, uh, well... I heard the goblins talking about some settlers they'd kidnapped from a nearby village. They must be on the other side of this wall. Now the first problem is how we break through these gates. I think this may be a bit much for even your rippling physique. So how do we get through? Let me think. Aha! Hobbles and I were looking for somewhere warm to snuggle up the other night, and we happened on an old golem. We could use that to bash through the gates. If I remember correctly, it was a McDongle Mark IV, so you'll need to insert a McDongle's gem of rebooting to reset its commands before it will obey you. Now, I've seen a gem of rebooting. Where was that? Ah, oh, yes! The deserted monastery up on White Peak. Watch out for the monks, who found enlightenment by becoming werewolves and now practice were foo. It's like kung fu, but hairier. Fetch the gem of rebooting, activate the golem, then bring it back here. Then we can use it to break down the doors and rescue Hobbles and the villagers. Hurrah! Uh, right you are, sir. <laughs> it's a bit out, but no worries. I thought you said it was deserted, though. I'm gonna try some stupid. Forward. Can see if he can run it. If not, we'll have to make some more soldiers. Probably not actually a good idea to send him, since he is my strongest. Oh, why can't I? Just a sec. Options. Let's set everything to. Uh, I want that. New villagers have arrived. 